Hey everybody, Shane here, and I'm going to give you today my review of the LEGO Harry Potter set, the Hogwarts Express, set number 75955. Now this is the third time that LEGO has released a Hogwarts Express. I've never gotten into them before, but I decided now, because I like this one so much, I was going to go ahead and get this one. And I plan on doing a lot with it. If you see my other videos, there are definitely plans in the works, but I wanted to just take a look at this set as it is. Now as of January 2021, this set is scheduling is scheduled to retire this year. So if you want to get one of these, you better get it now because prices are just going to go through the roof. You can still get them on sale for about $75, 80 is what it was released as, but I've seen them online, Bricklink and eBay for well over $100. So if you want one, pick it up now. It's definitely worth it if you don't have it or if you want just the nostalgia factor of this set. So let's kind of go through it a little bit here. So let's start first with the locomotive here. So again, this is a pretty good representation of the actual train engine itself. It is a little squished though, but I understand that Lego was setting this for a particular price point. Again, $80 was the original price. So making it any bigger probably would have been a little bit more expensive. Uh, they did jip out on the tender here, making it so short. Uh, there are a ton of different mocks out there to make this a lot bigger and actually make this powered up which i am debating on doing on here or putting an engine in the engine putting a motor in the engine don't know what i'm doing yet but you've got the hogwarts castle you've got the number here hogwarts uh railway right here which is pretty cool and that's all identical on both sides of the engine um the bars the way they have the connecting rod here is pretty i mean it's simple. It would be nice if this was better if more of these wheels were interconnected. And then there was another connecting rod up here to the front that actually floated, which a lot of people have done in their builds. So I wish that was a little bit different, but I mean, it's really not that bad. Uh, see here, my kids put one of the, uh, uh, the lady that gives them the food on the in the rail car. <laughs> they put her in here driving. Um, but yeah, I mean, the things, it looks pretty cool. This light should be down here, uh, not up top. I don't think there was a light on top for that one. But I mean, I love the, the nose cone of this engine as well, the boiler there. The way that this was built was super ingenious. I'm not huge into the train scene yet. I'm getting there. But I mean, I think the way this was built in three parts was just absolutely very cool of a way to build it. Um, I loved the, having that. Like I said, the tender now, it has a little kind of like hatch here that you can put stuff in if you want. Uh, it would have been nice to have just some one by one studs, black studs on here, just to simulate having coal up there because this is a coal engine. So it would have been cool to see that, but it didn't. Bars on here, some nice details. Again, you can fit a minifig in there without a problem. And inside there, if I pull her out, if I can, uh, they do have some fire in there, <laughs> which is pretty cool. That's a neat little accent. And those actually, that fire is like the feathers from the 90s, from like the knights used to put in their helmets. So I thought that was uh, a pretty nifty little build technique they put in there. I really don't like the connecting rods they did here. These are just Technic pins with a, uh, a three hole, one by three hole Technic connecting rod there. That's how the whole thing is. I wish they would have used magnetic buffers, uh, but they didn't. So, I mean, it is what it is, but the definitely when I rebuild this, I'm gonna change that out 100%. But overall, again, I really do like this. I'm not as critical as some other people are of this, but I thought this was a really, really cool steam engine. My first, well, I guess second one technically, but I love the color. It's not accurate, I know. It should be a darker red, but I still think it's pretty cool looking without the tender there. A little squished, but it's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at one of the passenger cars and my kids went ahead and put uh, a bunch of the characters in there. So after this is built, uh, the top here just completely comes off and the side comes off. So playability of this is really good, honestly. They've got some suitcases that are in here. We've got the cart that has the chocolate frog. I absolutely love that, some ice cream. And then these are the boxes that some of the treats come in. And I thought that was a pretty cool addition to actually 
meet that space in the middle there for suitcases or the cart, obviously. But, you know, we've got a bunch of our characters in here. We've got Lupin, Hermione, Harry, and Ron all hanging out in here, which is pretty awesome. And again, this build was very unique. It's a pretty short car. It's only four windows. Uh, a lot of people that have rebuilt this have done five or six windows, which is what I'm planning on doing, but you have to double that because you have two sides. So it takes quite a lot of windows to do. These windows do open if you want, which isn't bad, but I like the, the red here with the gold stripe going through there, those gold bricks, does look great. I do wish that there were doors, or at least these were closed, like this is completely open in here, which again, they're going for a price point here. Uh, I do think, but a little bit more could have been done to make it. Um, these really dark bluish, dark gray, tiles this is a very weird gray color it's not regular dark bluish gray uh, or maybe it is just dark bluish gray but i don't know i'm not a fan of the color uh, i think that definitely could have been uh maybe uh, i don't something else again not really loving that color and again at the bottom these should have two wheels on each side which i'll be doing because it just looks a little bit small uh, in the grand scheme of things. And it looks, again, squished kind of like the engine was. And it just, it would be a lot nicer if it was just a little bit bigger with some extra wheels under here. I think that would look better. And again, since I did get multiple sets, I have another car here. I just put it together as stock for now, just again, so the kids could play with it around the track. And they already have it filled up with a bunch of extra people from our other sets, which is pretty hilarious. So there's a lot of people in here and clearly my kids are playing with this and having fun. And that's, I mean, really what matters. I, I wanna build them a little bit differently, but for right now, the kids honestly don't care. They just wanna play with the trains. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they all easily connect together. They've got these fake buffers on here, but once they're all together, it does make for a decent train having multiple cars and everything there. So not too bad. So again, overall, I really do wish that there was a few differences, a little bit longer, the tender was a little bit bigger, these cars were bigger, but again, that would have been like $100, $120 set. You know, would it have been as popular? I don't know. Really, it's only the train aficionados that are complaining about the size of it. Everyone else is just enjoying it because this is the best looking Hogwarts Express train that LEGO has put out to date. This also comes with the platform nine and three quarters station, which I showed in a previous video of how I modified that with two sets. But again, loved that, the way Platform 9 and 3 quarters actually works. Um, it's not really the focus of this set, in my opinion. I think the engine is. But hey, it looks great. Again, if you want to get one, you better do it now. Uh, again, I picked up a few extra ones just so I could build more of these and modify them. So yeah, this was a good buy. Definitely go and check it out. If you want to check it out, I'll put some links down below of where to get it. And I'll put some mocks down there as well of builds that I'm debating on doing with this. I don't have not decided what I'm doing yet, but I'll put some links down there of ones that I've been researching. So if you're curious on how to motorize the tender, how to motorize the engine, how to just enhance them, how to motorize one of the cars even, uh, it kind of blocks out some of the windows, makes it a lot longer, but the back here is where your battery pack would go. There's so many options out there for it. So I'll put some links down below for that stuff. And yeah, so happy building everybody. Thanks for joining me and I'll see y'all next time.